Yes, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, DJ Platinum. Today, we are going to talk about the top 10 dancehall artists of all time. Yeah? The top 10 dancehall artists of all time. And that's kind of exciting to do this video. But just before making the video, I was even more excited to do this video. But I'm going to tell you right at the end. I'll tell you at the end, right? So let's get straight into it. I don't want to make this a super long video. So straight off at number 10 is Pop Khan. Yeah? I think Pop Khan bus kind of around 2010. He made hit after hit. Tunes like Only Man, Party Shot, Raven, all them tune there, yeah? So that's number 10, Pop Khan. So number nine on the top 10 dance all artists of all time number nine is mad cobra now if you've been listening to dancer for a long time you know who mad cobra is yeah early 90s right up to the millennium and made tunes beyond that as well mad cobra you had big hits like the tune flex gal flex uh, time to have said uh, and all them tunes i can go on and on and on throughout the 90s if you got a hot rhythm you know Mad Cobra's on there. Girls blurt when me drop no me jeans pants. I know them tune there, yeah? So that's number nine on the dancer list of all time. Number eight. Man like Mavado. Mavado. Now, I think Mavado bust around 2005, 2006. And one of his, his first hit was Real McCoy. They're no real Makai. They're just some baby boy. Them tune there. And he got tune after tune. You know, Movado has made hit after hit, anthem after anthem. Um made collaborations with Nicki Minaj. Pop Khan have to be on a top ten list. Yeah, because he's a big, a big, big, big dancer artist. Right, so number seven. We got man like Shabba Ranks. Now, Shabba is one of the only dancehall artists I could say that was busting up the place in the 80s and carried through and started dominating in the early 90s. Shabba Ranks, when he was on fire, no one could touch him. No one could touch him. Yeah? He had a big clash with... Um, Ninja Man, I think it was Sting 1990, yeah, and obviously Ninja Man was kind of a bit more underground and, you know, Ninja Man had the lyrics and whatever, but Shabba, Grammy Kid, hit after hit, big album, tingling, all them tune there, Needle Light Pum Pum, you got all them tune there, hit after hit after hit, Shabba ranking, happy make the top 10 list, me nah lie, right. Number six. Number six on the top ten dancehall artists of all time is Man Like Elephant Man. Now, Elephant Man's been around a lot longer than it seems. I remember early 90s, Elephant Man was around and he didn't really get much exposure until um, he was part of the Scare Them crew. Elephant Man, Harry Toddler, Boom Dandy Mike, Nitty Kachi, yeah. And then so... You know, scare them crew, they had that su their success. Early 2000s, Elephant Man started doing his ting, tune after tune. Tunes like, Log on, and step on, Chichima. And he had all, oh, he had a tune, he had a tune for enough of them dances in the 2000s. Yeah? Pond the River, Pond the Bank, Sweep, Blase, Signal the Plane, all them, all them dancing tunes. You, you probably find Elephant Man. All them, all, the, all them new dances, sorry, at the time, you normally find Elephant Man um, with a tune. Even if, <laughs> what was that tune? Bad Man Forward, Bad Man Pull Up. Even Elephant Man made a tune. It wasn't as big as the original tune, but all them tunes, one after the other, Elephant Man, top six, number six on the top ten dancehall artists of all time. Now, before we go into the top five I'm going to tell you how I constructed this list. Because the top five, we're going to get serious now. And you know when it comes to, like, 
you know, sports and music and who's the best in that. Everyone's got their opinion. Yeah. So I'm not expecting you lot to agree with me. And comment down below and let me know what you think of the list and let me know what your top 10 will be. But yeah, so before we go into the top five, yeah, I'm going to tell you how I structured this list. A lot of thought was gone into it, yeah? It was not this, yeah, let me just write top 10, blah, 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 blah. This is my opinion. No. No, 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 no. I made five lists. Sorry, I made five categories, sorry. Right? Longevity. Commercial success. Underground success. Lyrical content. Yeah? And what was the other one? Longe <coughs> longevity, lyrical content, commercial success, underground success, uh, yeah, and consistency. Five categories, yeah? Right. So, and then what I did, I thought of all the dancehall artists that I believe, that not just myself, that most people will consider could be a top 10 contender, yeah? For the top 10 dancehall artists of all time, over different eras. Obviously, some... Some people at different ages and people had their time in it, yeah? So, what I did, I had these five categories, right? So, I thought of all the people that I think people, not just me, but people from different eras would put in their top 10. So, I come up with a list of about 20-something names, yeah? So, what I did, I looked at the list carefully, stripped off some of the names that I just ended up with a tidy number, 20. So, 20 names, Right, and what I did, I ranked them from one to twenty in all five categories. All five categories, yeah. And I ranked them in all the categories, and added up the scores, and I based my top ten list of of the number of the scores. So to me, maybe you could argue with the methods, right? But that's how that's how I that's how I felt it would be fair to do. Anyway, let's let's get into the top five, right? Let's get into the top five. Right. So another reason why I had to kind of explain that because I've done it, I've done it, so, I've done it so then everyone's on a point system. You can get points up to 100. Now, the number four and five are actually got the joint. So the next two people are actually joint fourth place. Because they had the same points, believe it or not. Right, so the number four and f well, joint fourth place at the top ten dancehall artists of all times is Buju Banton and Sean Paul. Now hold on, because when you talk to people about dancehall, if anyone knows anything about dancehall, the underground stuff. Lots of people are gonna say, yeah, Sean Paul, commercial, bloody, 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 blah. But remember the five categories. So, Sean Paul came number one in two of my categories. That's why he's so high up there on the list. He came number one in commercial success for dancehall, yeah. And he also came number one for can consistency now Sean Paul come out around 97 Sean Paul continuously made tune you know yeah Sean Paul continuously made tune so to me he's number one consistent he's number one in consistency yeah and he's number one with commercial success so, Sean Paul bus, the big tune that everyone starting on Sean Paul, 97 was Infiltrate. No, you know what, no, babe. Them not gonna feel for your light if your ass gonna rape on a day. Am I your infiltrate? You know what I'm doing yeah? Right, cool. So, you know your dancer. All right, so, obviously, Sean Paul had underground tunes before he come commercial. Some people are like, yeah, Sean Paul is commercial. And they don't even know his old, old school tunes. You know what I'm saying? You know, he had these collabs with Vegas and all that and whatnot. And so, basically, to me, Sean Paul is right up there for the top 10. So, if it was some underground top 10, he might not make it in the top 10. But 
I've done my five categories. So Sean Paul is there. And yeah, let's move on to Buju because he's joint fourth place with Sean Paul. Now, Buju Banton. <sighs> Early 90s, when he busts tune after tune. Obviously, you had the big boy Shabba that we already spoke about, who came seventh on the list, yeah? Big boy Shabba. But when Buju busts, tune after tune after tune, Bati Rider, Bogle, Boom Bye Bye, Deportees, I Forget You Tonight, I could go on and on and on. And it was the, the two. When you go to the dance, like, you can just play Buju after Buju. In them early 90s, early 90s, them time there, I started to go to my first, like, under 18 house party and them thing there. And it was just Buju, 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 Buju. So, top 10 list. A lot of people will probably argue that he's number one. Yeah? Obviously, the youth them nowadays will probably say some newer person. So, it's all a matter of opinion. So, Joint fourth place, Sean Paul and Buju Banton. Right. Now, another reason why I had to mention the methodology of me using this, because the top three was tight, yeah? This is out of a possible 100 points. Yeah, do the math. A list of 20 times five categories is 100. <laughs> so, <clears throat> no word of a lie. The top three were all one point apart from each other. Yeah, so I've done the system. I ranked them from one to 20, in my opinion, in the five categories. And when I've done the totals, these, these top three were all just separated by one point. No lie. So based on my list, number three in the top 10 dancehall artists of all time. Number three. The king of the dancehall, self-proclaimed, a.k.a. the doctor, Moses Davis, a.k.a. Beanie Man. Now, remember the five categories I said? Beanie Man come number one in one of these categories. Yeah? Beanie Man come number one in longevity. Now, Beanie Man busts Early 90s, yeah? Early to, you know, he had tune, like, you know, 93, 94, 95. He had big tunes. But Beanie Man was making tunes for me. I think he was about five or six. When no people, a lot of people them don't, don't know that. And that's why, man, I say, Beanie Man, I better run from 90, no long and some little year, come up here, come this bad band, them feed, no. on them tune there, because he's been around for time. So, whoever... In the 90s, who, yeah, he's up there against. Blood. Beanie Man was making tune for time. He's a veteran, self-proclaimed king of the dance hall. The doctor, Moses Davis, Beanie Man, tune after tune. And I'm talking about hit tune. Who am I? You know who am I? Zim Zima. Who got the key to them? One of them tune there. Dance hall queen. We could go on and on. Bookshelf, tune after tune after tune. In the 90s, you can't play a 90s dance hall setting you don't have Beanie Man. It all makes sense. Beanie Man, number three. Rightly deserved. Now, just one point above Beanie Man in my categories. Number two. The number two of the top ten dancehall artists of all time. Vibes Cartel. Now, Vibes Cartel busts around... Uh, making tune around 2001. But I think he busts kind of around 2002 still. And... Well, I think... well. If you know about the cartel history, I think he was making tunes from the 90s. The, the name Vibes Cartel was actually the name of a group that he was in. And then he'd separate from the group and then he just kept the name. So that's why it's called Vibes Cartel. But I remember one of the tunes, I love one of the early tunes. I can't remember, 2001, 2002, 2003. It was the robbery. If you know if you know your cartel history, you know about the robbery. And I think he used that Busta Rhymes flow. Um, talking about he would rob certain... If, if he didn't bust in the business, he would rob certain artists. Um, if we didn't bust, every artist would afraid of us. I think he's still at Buster Rhyme Floor. But yeah, that was one of the first tunes I liked from Cartel. And um, it would take me about 10 hours to go through all the list of, of <laughs> hits of Cartel. 
clocks, fever. I can go on and on and on and on. Cartel incarcerated, I think, the early 2010s. Still making tune after tune after tune. Vibes Cartel, the Gaza. Whew. I could do a whole video about Vibes Cartel. But I don't want this video to be too long. And I have to let you know who the number one person is. Now, at the beginning of the video, I said I was excited to make this video. And I said just before I made it, I was even more excited. Let me tell you why. So I've got my favourite dancehall artist in it, right? But I'm doing this video to be fair and square and clean cut. So everyone's got their own opinion. Everyone's got their favourite. So I'm saying, let me do this fairly. Let me do these five categories and rank them. So I said, I know my, you know, my personal favourite dancehall artist is um, probably going to come fourth or fifth on the list. But I'm doing this. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at all the errors. And I'm looking at these five categories. Yeah. Longevity, commercial success, consistency, underground success and lyrical content. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Before we go into that, before we go into that, let me just go back. Let me just... Tell you, Vibes Cartel came number one in two of the categories. He came number one in underground success on my list and number one in lyrical content. Let me know if you agree with that. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. So, right, so I'm trying to do this list fair and square. I'm saying my, my favourite dancehall artist is probably going to come third or fourth or fifth on the list, maybe sixth. May never make the top ten, I don't know, because I'm going to do this fairly, you know, I don't, it's not a biased list. When I'm calculating the scores, my favourite dancehall artist of all time, no word of a lie, my favourite dancehall artist of all time came number one when I calculated all the points together. He didn't come number one in any of the five categories. Because as I said before, Sean Paul came number one in um, commercial success and consistency. Beanie Man come number one in um, longevity and Cartel come number one in underground success and lyrical content. Now, my favourite dancehall artist of all time didn't come number one in any of them categories, but when I added up the scores overall, he was number one. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the Warlord. Rodney Price, a.k.a. Bounty Killer. Bounty Warlord Killer. The top 10 dancehall artists of all time, number one Bounty Killer. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me. Yeah? A lot of people probably agree as well. So, big up you, whatever your opinion is. Comment below. Let me know what I'm going. Let me know what your opinion is. Now, Bounty Killer... Where do I start? So, as I said, I don't want to make this video long. Right, so, it busts in the early 90s. Big tune that hit the street. Copper shot. From a man back then gone, you free run. If you, if you know your dance, you know that tune. And then another big tune in the early 90s he come with was Lodge. Feel me go, no giant lodge, I no giant church, disrespect me. Right, so all them tunes, so... Barry Killer made some of the biggest tunes of the 90s. Obviously, you had Buju and Shabba dominating the early, early 90s. But I say, in the 90s, Bounty Killer was my guy. He come with some big hit tunes upon hit tunes. The album he made, I think, 96, My Experience. Um, collaborations with Buster Rams and the Fugees. He was also featured in that No Doubt tune. I can't remember the name of the tune. Um, one of the biggest, his biggest songs of the 90s was Can't Believe My Eyes at the time when that came out. That was my favourite tune. <laughs> Reliving my youth right now. And, you know, Bounty Killer was responsible for some of the biggest names. I'm not saying he literally constructed like a, you know, a, a robot of this. But Bounty Killer are responsible for the Scare Them crew. Elephant Man, Harry Todd, La Boom Dandin, my Nitty Kachi, yeah? Also Scare Them too as well. Bramble and Daily Bread. That was in the 90s. Elephant Man went on to do big things. Now in the 2000s, 
Bounty Killer formed the Alliance. Now, years later, they all broke up and they had clashes in between them and it all fizzled out. But Bounty Killer formed the Alliance in the 2000s. Vibes Cartel, Movado, Elephant Man, Kiprich, Wayne Marshall, Bling Dog, Predator, Idonia. Now, I'm not saying without Bounty Killer, these people would not have made it, you know. But Bounty Killer put them on. You know, as the Americans say, yeah, man, my man put me on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bounty Killer put them on blood, right? Yeah. So, and he has made tune after tune. And obviously, there's been them high level contro con controversies. He's had an on and off beef with Beanie Man. You know, they clashed at Sting 1993. They even had a clash, I think, a few weeks before that, Stone Love. You know, again, you know, they were going back and forth at each other on the ch in, in music in 95, you know, early 2000s in, on the martial arts rhythm and flipping 2006 on the show of rhythm on and off beats with Beanie Man. He had his feuds with Merciless, you know, fell out of Cartel, fell out of Movado later on. <laughs> Baby Sham, there was something with Sizzlad. Listen... Yeah, so, Bounty Killer, respect you. You're my, you're my favorite dancehall artist for all time. And on my list, you're the number one, right? So, there's a lot of new artists busting the scene right now. And I could do this list again in 10 years, and the list might be a little bit different. But right now, that's my top 10. I just want to mention a couple near misses. A couple so, two people that just missed out on the top 10 was the fireman himself, Capleton. Capleton, again, early 90s, bust through the whole 90s, made hits upon top of hits. Well, actually, funny enough saying that, he actually made a tune in 2006, I think it was called Hits Upon Top of Hits, because that's what he has made. It's Pantapa, it's, it's Pantapa, it's a miseta of things, it. If you remember that tune, 96. Can't remember the name of the rhythm off the top of my head. But, um, and also, who just missed out on the top 10 was Mr. Vegas. Right? So, that's it. That's my top 10. So, let's recap. From 10 down to 1, we got number 10, Popcorn. Number 9, Movado. We got... No, sorry. Number 10, we got Popcorn. Number 9, we got Mad Cobra. Number 8, we got Movado. Number seven, we got Shabba Ranks. Number six, Elephant Man. Joint fourth and fifth place, we got Sean Paul and Buju Banton. Number three, the Dr. Beady Man. Number two, the World Boss Vibes Cartel. And number one, the Warlord himself, Bounty Killer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below, share with your friends. Let me know in your opinion. Let's, let's do this discussion. And I'll catch you people on the next video.